नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फिफ्टी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज अ सीरीज ऑफ फिजिक्स सोल्यूशंस वी आर सॉल्विंग फिजिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स एंड दिस इज अवर सेवेंथ फ्रॉम दैट टू यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज कॉन्सेंट्रेक थिन स्वेरिकल शेल्स ऑफ रेडिया आर वन एंड आर टू are maintained at electrostatic potentials v1 and v2 respectively with v1 greater than v2 okay v1 greater than v2 how does the electrostatic potential vary with distance from the center of the sphere so as you can see here there are two uniformly charged concentric thin spherical shells of radii r1 and r2 r1 is the inner radius r2 is the outer radius they are maintained at electrostatic potentials v1 and v2 respectively v1 greater than v2 How does the potential vary with distance from the center of the sphere? Okay, fine. Now all of us know that if we have a charged shell, okay, if we have a charged shell, uniformly charged shell, we have a uniformly charged spherical shell, then the electric field inside it will always be zero. okay electric field inside it will be always zero you know that okay that is a consequence of the gauss law okay electric field inside is always zero which means the potential there will be constant okay potential there will be constant and what will be the value of that the constant value will be that of the potential at which the shell is okay so between 0 to r1 the potential will be constant and it will be equal to v1 the potential will be constant and it will be equal to v1 so out of the four figures here this will not be right because here they are saying that the potential is increasing linearly from 0 to uh, v2 okay at r1 so this is not right okay so it has to be uh, Uh, v1 first and then v2 okay now if you look at uh, options third and fourth okay here they are they have given us v1 greater than v2 but on the uh, in, in the third and the fourth figures they are saying v2 is greater than v1 now what does that mean that means these two figures are also not right because they are clearly give they are clearly saying that v1 is greater than v2 so the horizontal line v equal to v1 has to be above the horizontal line v equal to v2 and therefore the correct option is option a or the first option okay and if we analyze it a bit further then uh, if we consider the region of space between r1 and r2 here you expect the potential to drop uh, okay with 1 upon r okay or drop with r v is directly proportional to 1 upon r or inversely proportional to r you know that standard result and in between this region or here which is in between the two shells okay the potential will drop okay and it will vary inversely with r okay and how how is it going to change it is going to decrease it is going to decrease from v1 to v2 so it will be a rectangular hyperbola okay and as you can see that it's that that's exactly the behavior that you see here v1 to v2 okay with uh, as as r increases the potential drops so it, this is the decreasing curve okay and at r2 you have potential v2 and after this okay after this if you go outside the shells okay for r greater than r2 okay what do you expect the potential will drop or it will decrease with r okay and the only option that supports it considering the first two regions is this okay so the correct option is a